Hey guys, Kenny here. All right, a company reached out to me, a company called King Bolin, and uh, they wanted me to check out one of their battery testers, a couple other items, and they wanted me to buy it first. And I said, look, you want to send something to me to test it and do a review, I'll do it and I'll be honest, but I'm not paying for anything. And if you don't want to do it, that's fine. So he ends up sending me this thing, which is cool. I have a Top Don tester that normally I use, and this looks pretty close to it, um, you know, a little different. It's basically battery analyzer, over voltage protection. So if you put it on backwards, you know, the polarity, it won't, uh, won't do anything like that. 6, 12, or 24 va uh, volts. Uh, shows you how to hook it up. Good instructions, okay. Um, you press the up and down button to adjust the values you can press the go button to do previous pages so we're gonna try it out the first thing I want to do though I want to see what the battery measures in this tractor I actually charged this battery last night all right and right hot off the charge last night it was about 13 13 5 so let me see what I got now put it on 20 volt What's going on, buddy? Uh, you need three hands here. There we go. 12.98. It was around 13 or so. Yeah, it's slightly going on. All right, about 12.9. Okay. Let's see what the uh, what the tester shows. Let me uh, grab this tester here. Hopefully the sound is good. i am got my new microphone on again. Oh, oh, oh that's good. Well, we'll see if it passes the drop test. <laughs> All right, let's put you in the tripod here so we get some hands free. And uh, we'll zoom in and let's see what we got. All right. So negative on negative, positive on positive. The meter should come on, which it does. Let's see. Oh, there we go. All right, it's reading 12 volt. Hit OK. Cold cranking amps. Let's see if you can see that. Can you? Yeah, you can see it. All right, we'll dial in. This is a 300, 300 cca battery. So let's dial in the 300 cca. OK, hit OK. It's testing. Let's see what happens. 314 cca, it says good. OK, so let's see what else this thing does. We'll do uh, an arrow, 12.82, it's registering. It was registering 12.97, so, okay. Uh, Milliohm, mega ohm, not sure what that, that's the resistance in it. I'm assuming it's, uh, is it mega ohm? Someone can let me know what that is. It says good, whatever that is for the resistance. 98% uh, SOC, which is state of charge, again, good. Remember, this battery is a few years old. Um, I got it with this free tractor that I got from somebody with a blown engine. And all I had to do, it had 0.29 volts in it yesterday. So I put the charger on last night. Let's see what else we got. State of health, 100%. Wow, this is a great battery according to this. What I'm gonna do though, after I'm done with all this, I'm gonna uh, get the top done. We're gonna, we're gonna compare them, okay? So again, 314 cold cranking amps. It's a 300 battery, 12.8. The Miller Mega Ohm, whatever that is, someone can tell me. 98% state of charge and 100% state of health. So really, it's good battery. Okay, now I'm gonna shut you off for a second. I'm gonna go get my top Don. And we're gonna see what that looks like. All right, we're back, and we have my my top Don charger. Now I paid about thirty dollars for this a couple years ago. I love it; works great. Let's plug this in now. One thing that the top Don does that the other one doesn't do is it tests the charging in your alternator or your charging system if you have good charging so that this other one doesn't do but the other one is a little bit cheaper so you know you get what you pay for all right top done is on let's make sure you can see it 12.84 volts so they're about the same let's see if i could zoom in on the display here it's about the same as far as uh the voltage so that's good let me stand it up here Get a good, uh, 
get a good reading. Let's get you in the picture here. All right. Okay. So it's reading 12.84 volts and we hit okay. English, yep. In vehicle, yep. Before charge, yep. Regular flooded, yep. CCA. Enter. Regular flooded, yep. Enter. Enter. Uh, come on. Enter. CCA. All right, CCA. Okay, there we go. So let's get bring up to 300. All right, and we hit enter. Yeah, we hit okay. Yes. All right, it's testing. Oh, let's see what it shows. All right, it says state of health 90, where the other one said 100. The voltage is the same, roughly 12.82. The other is 12.84. State of charge 98. That was the same, so that's good. It's saying about 330 uh, cold cranking, which is good. It's about what the other one was. Uh, the other one said 315. This one says 330, so, you know, a little bit. Uh, the resistance, internal resistance, 9.98. The other was 8 point something. Both say good battery. So, you know, the readings are close. You've got something that's probably $10, $15 more. But this one tests charging systems. The other one doesn't. So if you're looking for just a state of your battery, state of health, state of charge, internal resistance and all that, you know, it's a decent value. So, cool. All right, let's go back to the other one real quick. Let me take you off the stand here. I'll give you some particulars on the other one. All right. So, like I said, this is a company called, where is it? King Bolin. All right. And they have a few, uh, few things on Amazon. All right. And as I said, well, actually, you know what? Let's try the uh, reverse polarity. Let's purposely put it backwards, see what happens. Let's see what happens. All right, so we put the positive, oh no, put the positive on negative. We're gonna put the negative on the positive. All right. And hitting the buttons, nothing's happening. Okay, so I guess that's the protection. So now we'll hook it up the regular way and see if it works. Twelve volt. It senses the twelve volt. And put it back to the three hundred. So the reverse protection is good if you hook it up backwards. I, I didn't try that with the top down. It doesn't recommend it, so I didn't want to try it with the top down and maybe mess it up. Hit OK. Let's see what the test says. Three hundred five, same as it was before. Twelve point seven eight. It's losing a little bit of voltage because it's not charging. 8.4, that's about where it was before. 98 for the charge, 100 for the health. So the reading stayed the same on the King Bolin. So, all right, like I said, for what it's worth, um, yeah, I think it's a decent value. I mean, it's less than the other brands that are out there. Um, I do like the reverse polarity protection. That's pretty cool. So, uh, you know, you enter the CCAs, you hit the enter, and you test for the state of charge. You state for test for state of health. So you got status of health, status of charge, internal resistance, and battery voltage. So it said good in all these. So you know what? For what it is, uh, not too bad. So I will put a link in the um, description. Um, like I said, I love my top down. Don't get me wrong. I do love my top down. It tests charging too. So if you think your alternator is not charging, that's what's good about something like this. But this is probably twice the price of one of these. If this is just, you're looking to see if the battery's good or bad or whatever, hey, I recommend it. You know, King Bolin. Check them out on Amazon. All right, guys, that's it for now. We'll talk to you soon.